Hello, good morning, guys. So, a blessed morning to all of us. Uh, let's have a 10-minute prayer with God. So, I have here a book. 10-minute with the Lord. Okay? So, I am going to read you a topic, accountability. But before reading, I would like to give you the meaning of accountability. So anyway, let, let us associate this with um, English grammar so that we would know also its meaning before we can proceed, okay? So what is accountability? It is the fact or condition of being accountable. So we must be accountable, we must be responsible. No? It is our responsibility, our liability, answerability, and obedience. So that is the synonym of accountability. Okay, and it is a noun. Okay, to proceed, I am going to read to you a parable of the silver pieces. This is in Matthew 25, verse 14 to 29. At that time, the kingdom of heaven will be like this. Once there was a man who was about to leave home on a trip. He called the servants and put them in charge of his property. He gave to each one according to his ability. To one he gave 5,000 gold coins. To another he gave 2,000. And to another he gave 1,000. Then he left on his trip. The servant who had received 5,000 coins went at once and invested his money and earned another 5,000. In the same way, the servant who had received 2,000 coins earned another 2,000, but the servant who had received 1,000 coins went off, dug a hole in the ground, and hid his master's money. After a long time, the master of those servants came back and settled accounts with them. The servant who had received 5,000 coins came in and handed over other 5,000. You gave me 5,000 coins, sir, he said. Look, here are another 5,000 that I have earned. Well done, you good and faithful servant, said his master. You have been faithful in managing small accounts. So I will put you in charge of large amount. Come on in and share my happiness. Then the servant who had been given 2,000 coins came in and said, You gave me 2,000 coins, sir. Look. Here are another 2,000 that I have earned. Well done, you good and faithful servant, said his master. You have been faithful in managing small amount, so I will put you in charge of large amount. Come on in and share my happiness. Then the servant who had received 1,000 coins came in and said, Sir, I know you are a hard man. You reap harvests where you did not plant, and you gather crops where you did not scatter seed. I was afraid, so I went off and hid your money in the ground. Look, here is what belongs to you. You bad and lazy servant, here is what belongs to you. His master said, you know, did you that I reap harvests where I did not plant and gather crops where I did not scatter seed? Well, then, you should have deposited my money in the bank, and I would have received it all back with interest when I returned. 
Now take the money away from him and give it to the one who has ten thousand coins. For to every person who has something, even more will be given, and he will have more than enough. But the person who has nothing, even the little that he has, will be taken away from him. Okay, so that is the passage of the parable of the silver pieces in Matthew chapter 25, verse 14 to 29. Now, brothers and sisters, when we talk about accountability, it means that we are responsible of what we did, right? So, in our lives, there are many instances that uh, we are doing uh, good things and bad things, okay? But yes, we cannot deny the fact because we are just human, right? But then, since we are accountable, according to our reading, since we are accountable, then we must face the consequence, okay? So... Uh, just try to reflect to ourselves or you yourself. You reflect of what are the things that we have done that is not fitting to the Lord. So by then, we have to ask forgiveness for our sins. And uh, of course, we will humbly admit that we have sinned against God and so that our hearts will be more fulfilling and uh, we all know that God will accept us whoever we are now how how thick our sin may be and if we are, but if we have to ask forgiveness from God, of course, He will forgive us. So, let us bow our heads and try to reflect to passage that we have read a while ago. Let's have a moment of silence. Lord, we are indeed sinful. Forgive our shortcomings, O God, and help us to renew our spirit, to renew ourselves. We know that you are a merciful God, so forgive us. And we lift up to you everything, O Lord. We come to you in, on bended knees. Bless our lives, our activities, oh God. So I have here a very nice prayer. So Lord, I come before you to open myself to your word. May the message you give me guide me in all my activities. May I always remember that my first task is to help others to assist them in achieving their goals. May I have the courage to defend the truth and promote justice. May I have the strength to spread the good news to others. I ask this through Jesus Christ, our Savior, who became man and died for us and lives now with you forever and ever. Amen. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Do not bring us to the test, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Mama Mary, intercede in us as we say. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, thank you for listening, for watching this uh, short video about our faith, about our spiritual aspect in life. Okay, till my ne next video, God bless us all. Please do not forget to like and share my video and subscribe. Susie's Vlog 21.